from Hamlet. Some say that ever against that season comes wherein our Savior's birth is celebrated, the bird of dawning singeth all night long, and then, they say, no spirit dare stir abroad. The nights are wholesome, then no planet strike, no fairy takes, nor witch hath power to charm, so hallowed and so gracious is the time. Luli lule, thou little tiny child. Bye bye, luli lule. Luli lule, thou little tiny child. Bye bye, luli lule. O oh, sisters, too, how may we do for to preserve this day? This poor youngling of whom we sing. Bye bye, Luli Luli. Herod the king in his raging charged he had this day his men of might in his own sight all young children to slay that woe is me poor child for thee and ever morn and day for thy parting nor say nor sing bye bye luli lu bye bye luli lu bye bye luli Child's Christmas in Wales by Dylan Thomas. One Christmas was so much like another, 
in those years around the sea town corner, now and out of all sound except the distant speaking of voices I sometimes hear a moment before sleep, that I can never remember whether it snowed for six days and six nights when I was twelve, or whether it snowed for twelve days and twelve nights when I was six. For dinner, we had turkey, and blazing pudding, and after dinner, the uncles sat in front of the fire, loosened all buttons, put their large moist hands over their watch chains, groaned a little, and slept. Mothers, aunts, and sisters scuttled to and fro bearing tureens. Auntie Bessie, who had already been frightened twice by a clockwork mouse, whimpered at the sideboard and had some elderberry wine. Auntie Dosey had to have three aspirins. But Auntie Hannah, who liked port, stood in the middle of the snowbound backyard, singing like a big-bosomed thrush. At tea, the recovered uncles would be jolly, and the ice cake loomed in the center of the table like a marble grave. Auntie Hannah laced her tea with rum because it was only once a year. Always on Christmas night, there was music. An uncle played the fiddle, a cousin sang Cherry Ripe, and another uncle sang Drake's Drum. It was very warm in the little house. Auntie Hannah, who had got onto the parsnip wine, sang a song about bleeding hearts and death, and then another in which she said her heart was like a bird's nest, and then everybody laughed again, and then I went to bed. Looking through my bedroom window, out into the moonlight and the unending smoke-colored snow, I could see the lights in the windows of all the other houses on our hill and hear the music rising from them up the long, steady, falling night. Silent night, holy night, shepherds quake at the sight. Shall see his day, oh, glory. 